Hi Leo, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your weekly messages. So I'm going to start with the Rebel deck. Let's see, what are the messages for Leo for the upcoming week? We have get some fucking sleep. Oh, Leo, have your sleep been off lately? I know mine has and I'm not even Leo. <laughs> you are being an ass because you are fucking tired. Face to pillow now. Ooh, are you been acting like a little grouchy pants? Mm-hmm. Sleep deprived, you know what I mean? Ooh, this one fell out. It says you need a big fucking hug. Squeeze, yeah. You're whiny, you're pouty, you're grouchy, you need some sleep, you need a hug, you need someone to help feed you. Whatever it is, you want someone to put their hands in back of your pocket. Look at that. Then we have winning, okay? You got a good thing going. Don't ruin that shit. Don't ruin that shit because you need some sleep, okay? Maybe you've been working out. Maybe you've been working out too hard or maybe you've been working too hard and lacking sleep. So don't fuck it up because you're tired, you're grouchy, and you pissed the wrong person off. Then we have stop obsessing, okay? You are not the fucking center of the universe. <laughs> Sorry, but that's what it says. Then we have stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on that person. Just fucking stop. It says spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. Mm -hmm. I think you know who I'm talking about too. Yeah, mm -hmm. that person. Let's push these aside. All right, messages from Leo for the upcoming week. I'm going to be using the Psychic Tarot with the Osho Zen Tarot. <clears throat> okay, we have the truth, triumphant success, and we have heartache and loss. Ooh, 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 someone's going to be speaking their truth about a heartache or something that hurts you. Okay, someone's going to be coming in to communicate and it's going to be a success, but that truth needed to come out. You could be hurting someone and someone could be hurting you. Truth is never pretty, okay? The truth hurts, but it's the fucking gospel truth. So let's get some clarifiers really quick. Hold on. Harmony. Maturity. Funny, Aries got the same card. Could be dealing with an Aries too. Moment to moment. Ooh, okay, so Leo, I feel like this upcoming week you have to be honest with yourself. There's something that you, needs to be said. You need to tell the truth. You need to be you need to speak your truth. You need to have a heart to heart with someone or a heart to heart to yourself. Okay? That's definitely the something that's going to be coming up. We have the triumphant success. So this could mean that there's something coming in that gives you that aha moment that idea or you just figured out blues clues because you're very fucking smart <laughs> type of shit and you're like okay that's what you need that's exactly what you need to succeed and that's exactly what's going to be happening if you are waiting for communication to come in it's coming okay it's going to be very successful it's going to go good okay but we also have heartache and loss so there could be something that you were suffering from it could have been a breakup it could have been um an actual loss of a family member, a person, a loved one. And I'm very sorry if that's the case. Um, we do have, maybe they will be communicating that the reason why they weren't around, it's because this is the truth. I was, <coughs> I was dealing with the family loss and this and this and that. And you could be crying and saying you're sorry or something like that. But it could also represent after a period of being hurt because someone ghosted you or someone said something they weren't supposed to or you felt like you weren't successful communication comes in in regards to whatever whoever and that helps you to see uh heaven up above okay <laughs> then we have a moment to moment so definitely you are having like i said a heart to heart with this moment to moment you are taking it day by day step by step if you're going through some kind of depression this is pretty much telling you just take it day by day. Don't try to take on too many responsibilities. Okay, just go with the flow. Um, we also have harmony and, mat and maturity. So you need to, with the truth card being here and harmony, be honest with yourself. Are you doing things that make you happy? 
Are you surrounded by people that make you happy? They bring peace and harmony to your mind, to your surrounding, to your life. Those are the things you have to ask yourself. Be honest. Be true. The person are the person that you're with. Are you? Are they bringing harmony? Because look at that. Look at those two uh, dolphins here. Are you happy with the person you're with? Okay. Yes. That's good. That's that's the gospel truth. Okay. Now you have that heart to heart, that moment to moment, where you're like. What do we do from here? You know what I mean? Like, it just depends on your situation. It could be, this could be your ten of cups where you're like very fucking happy living your best life. And, or you could be doing something that makes you really, really happy. Despite of what it is, whatever. Maybe it's the road less travel or maybe it's something that someone had a problem with and you're just like, okay, this is my truth and this is what makes me happy. Who cares what people say or think? You're taking things in a more... With the maturity card here, I feel like you have grown into someone very strong. Very... Um, someone who who took a lot of bullets and still came out alive and strong. and Fucking Iron Man type of shit. It's kind of like... You are now seeing things from a more mature point of view. Versus, you know, when you were young, you were lashing out and you were just doing things out of ego and pride and now you're just being realistic you're doing things that make you happy and not doing things because society thinks it's cool or because you want to keep up the fucking status quo or something that's exactly what i see you're going to be more you're honest with yourself you're going to be doing things that make you happy that harmonize with your with your peace and with your truth and clarity with truth and clarity let's get a few cards here I'm sorry if I lost you. I get so many messages that I just don't know where to begin sometimes. So, <laughs> temperance. Look at that. You know, it's funny because as I saw temperance, I saw heartache and loss. You could be healing from some type of heartache and loss, okay? This is the healing card. Balancing out yourself, balancing out your emotions, your physical. Maybe you are going through surgery or went through surgery. Now you're healing and that's good. Um, you're just taking it moment by moment, day by day, step by step, healing, you know, no rush in doing it. Just doing it at your own pace is what I'm hearing. Ooh, okay, I believe this is the Eight of Cups reversed. So with the Eight of Cups reversed, there's something that you're not walking away from, okay? You refuse to turn your back on it. It could have been a relationship that you didn't give up on and you're glad that you didn't because now there's harmony. Now there's 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 peace, there's love. You believed in yourself, you believed in the in the relationship. Maybe you were that healer for that other person and they're appreciating you now. I mean, it could go like why it could be vice versa. You never know. Then we have the high priestess, which is reverse. So I feel like someone has been ignoring their intuition. Leo, have you been ignoring your intuition about a specific thing? If so, you need to start paying more attention to your higher self. If you need to, if you've been a little distracted by things, spirit is calling you to pay attention to the signs that they are showing you. Okay. Especially if they're synchronicities. Ooh, the lovers. Speaking of the lovers, I saw this. Harmony. I I think this is the Ten of Cups. I'm not sure. <laughs> I haven't really studied this deck. I just take them out of the box and start using them. That's just me. So definitely a choice, a decision you need to make. And that decision leads to happiness and harmony. Could be in, in regards to a lover. Could be in regards to um, career, work. But look at that. Triumph success. Triumphant success. Whatever it is, what you decide, you're going to succeed anyways. You're going to be happy because that's living in your truth. So that's good. All right, Leo, this was your weekly message. Please give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in your next video. Ta-ta!